Today I'm going to teach you how to make histograms using uh, the software called Logger Pro. So you can find Logger Pro in one of two ways. Number one is you can go up here into the search window and you can go ahead and type in Logger Pro into your search window. The other thing is, is if you put it in your dock, you can go ahead and go over here to your dock and look for the calipers and the graph paper and then you can go ahead and open up your Logger Pro software. Now in order to make a histogram, we want to sort of delete and clean up some of the default settings. By default you get this XY line graph. We don't want that so we're going to select it and then we're going to hit delete. And then the other thing we want to do is we only want to have over here in the data set, you can see it's titled data set and we have column X and column Y. For all of our data sets we just simply want one column. So we're going to go up to the very top menu, look for data, delete column, and delete my Y. Now I need to go over here and set up my data set. I'm going to title my data set Experiment 2.1 and hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up my X value or my column. So if I double click the X, up comes the options. I'm going to title it Change in Mass. I'm going to make my short name change and I'm going to make sure to give it units. The last thing I want to do is go over to Options and I want to give it a color other than black. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pick tomato. Now you'll notice it says experiment 2.1 and this uh, column here is called change and it's in the color red. So I'm set here for experiment 2.1 but we're going to be adding up to four experiments. So I need to go back up to my menu to data and click something that says new data set. And notice all of a sudden it creates this new data set. I go over here, I'm going to change the title to experiment 2.4. Hit OK, double click the change, and go to my options and give it a new color. This time I'm going to do a contrasting color to blue to red and make it blue. Now I rinse and repeat, new data set, double click, experiment 2.5, change the color one more time. I'm going to make this one, let's see, orange butterscotch. Okay, and then do it one last time. All right, and this will be for my experiment 2.6. This time I'm going to go ahead and leave it black. Um, if I click here, I can go ahead and open up my uh, windows, and now I can see all of my data. So after I get all of my data sets set up, the next thing that I need to do is go back to my original data. Here's the mass for 2.1. I'm going to select my data. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to my Logger Pro. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that right in there. Now, you want to double check to make sure it's pasted correctly and all I have all of the data. That looks good. I'm going to go over to Experiment 2.4. And I'm going to do the same thing copy that data, go to my Logger Pro, and import it here. So I don't have to go ahead and uh, copy and paste. It's just a nice easy way when we're using Microsoft, uh, when we're using Google Sheets. I can, go, of course, go ahead and manually uh, 0.25. I'm just making this data up, but I can go ahead and manually enter the data in anytime I want to. You just have to remember Oops, I deleted that by accident. You just have to remember that it's going to go ahead and kind of go over to the left. So go ahead and scroll down when you're doing the column, 0.07. Uh, scroll down, negative 0.03. Okay, you get the idea. Negative 0.03. Okay. So what do I need to do now? So I've got my data and my data point. What I want to do now is I want to go ahead and go up to page and add a new page. I'm going to title my page Histogram. This just makes things nice and clean. So now when I go ahead and put my graph, all I see is my graph and I don't have anything else distracting on there. So I go up through the window at the top and it says Insert Additional Graphs Histogram. And there's my histogram. So you'll notice that it's kind of small. The fastest way to sort of make this bigger is to do something called Command R. And so if you go to Page, you'll notice Auto Arrange, or Command R, makes it and fills it up in the screen as big as possible. Now, 
Notice this is all red, so I don't have all of my data in here. I double click the graph and up come a whole bunch of options. The first thing I want to do is make sure I've clicked all of these toggles so that all of my data comes up. The next thing I want to do is I want to go over to my bin labels and I want to change that to change in mass. Make sure I put the units and I want to go ahead and change my y-axis to count. All right. The other thing I want to do is I want this to go a little bit higher. So if I go auto scale larger, hopefully then it won't go right up to the top. It'll give me a little bit of room at the very top of the, the graph. The second thing I want to do is go over to graph options, give it a title. So changes in mass. You can do other things down here, like you can give it a tick line and see what happens when you do that. Um, and you can also sort of change the color of the title. So if I hit OK, and now you'll notice I've got a title up here, I've got the tick marks that I made, and now I can see my data that I have all in a different color. Okay? So if I double click on this, the last, go back into my graph options, the last thing I want to do is adjust my bin size right here. So for our graphs on changes in mass, we want to use a bin size of 0.1, and we want them to start at negative 0.05 or just 0.05. So now if I hit that, now you can see I've got a histogram. It's showing me the data as I want to be looking at it. The last thing that I have to do is I have to insert um, a legend so that I can understand what each of these colors is. So the easiest way to do that is simply go up here to do uh, a text annotation. Okay, And if I click on that, you'll notice over here I've got these different things, and so I can go... Red is experiment 2.1. Uh, blue is experiment 2.4, so on and so forth. I'm just going to sort of let it be up here in the corner, but if I ever wanted to sort of click and drag and move the annotation around, I can go ahead and do that. Um, and it does give me some options to sort of move things. Um, if you really wanted to color code it, you could. Actually, I don't know if you can color code the text. But what we can do is we should be able to hit select all. We should be able to go up to the edit and uh, make my text bigger. Okay, and I can do that a couple times. So now that I can see it. So there you go. That's how we make a histogram using the software Logger Pro.